Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. Got a new Windows 10 build video to look to show you. This is build 17093, Redstone 4 build. Could be called the Spring Creators Update. We don't know yet. That's just a, a rumor. And we're getting towards the end of the development of the Redstone 4. So there's not a huge amount of changes coming to these builds now, but there are some nice uh, little improvements. So uh, Game Bar gets uh, a bit of a makeover. So here's the new look game bar. I'm not sure how this get picked up on the captures software. So you've got an option to choose light, uh, light and dark mode, and it's got that sort of nice, nice look and feel to that. There are some other changes. You can um, you can toggle any of your cameras for mixer stream, and they say they've got a new clock on there, which I suppose they have yet, and uh, they make it easier to use. So that's game bar. Some of the other settings are, um, you've got an option to delete your diagnostic data. So I showed this in the previous build. So this is diagnostic data that gets sent back to Microsoft. And um, through your privacy settings, you can uh, see what gets sent back. And here's the new option there. You can just do delete and gets gets rid of everything. Uh, a couple of things now. If you've got a PC which is capable of HDR video, um, they've got a new HDR video setting. Um, which I can't show you on this Surface Pro 3 because it doesn't have HDR setting, but if you go into apps and uh, video playback, um, there's the option there. You can turn that on and off. There's some extra settings um, or extra configuration options if you've got multi-display graphics. So if you've got something like uh, it, um, a discrete video card like Nvidia card in as well as the onboard one so many laptops have that kind of thing then uh, you can see it uh, in system and you've got an ag a display and then advanced graphics uh, settings there so on the Surface Pro 3 there's not a huge amount to see on there but um, you get the option of configuring Uh, graphics performance per specific apps on there, so that would be good for um, you know for gaming. You can make you can you can choose how the game uses well, which which graphic options it gets. Uh, a couple of things um, they've added an authenticator app to Windows 10 S. I've not got Windows 10 S running on here, so it's something I'll, I'll have to to investigate. I've got a virtual machine of that, so. Um, the authenticator app is something that I use on uh, on my phone, uh, so that if I look, look into a Windows account, it'll um, you know on, on any other machine, I can use the authenticator app to to control that. Uh, they've added eye control, something that was in the Fall Creators update back in, in October, and with this build, they've made it easier to use, a bit quicker to get, and also quicker to pause it. So something else that I can show you that has changed: Windows Defender is now called uh, is now in Windows. Uh, security settings they've renamed the page uh, from Windows Defender to Windows Security so that this was called Windows Defender is now called Windows Security which makes sense and then they've redesigned this this page a little bit as well uh, a couple of other things they've done some improvement in the Bluetooth uh, pairing and connectivity um, they've improved the sort of Bluetooth and connectivity settings and how that pairs um, They've uh, evolved the full screen mode, they say. So let's have a look what they mean on that. So um, they added F11 in the Fall Creators update. Now they said in full screen mode that... Um, let's just say no for that. They've said in full screen mode that when you hover, it, uh, it should give you the toolbar. But I'm not seeing that. So maybe I need to... Um, Send some insider feedback on that because that's not happening on this machine. It should give you the toolbar when you go to that option. Now they've had an option for clutter-free printing, so it only uh, depends on the web page that you're printing. Interestingly, for my Surface Pro 3, I don't even have any printers, including the print PDF XPS writer. So I'm going to have to work out why that's not happening. There's some additional language support, text. Um, Prediction for additional languages. We've got updated privacy settings for your P app. Some ease of access support, and uh, there's a few other things uh, like the network flyout. They've fixed that 
issue where um, it wasn't appearing as translucent for some people, but uh, that was always okay for me, actually. So there's a whole bunch of fixes, nothing to uh, uh, stand out, things I've shown you. Um, there some known issues during at, uh, as you're doing the upgrade at the 88% mark, you might see 90 minutes uh, and then it moves forward. I didn't see that. It did seem to take longer to install, but um, I didn't see that issue where it would sort of wait for 90 minutes and then continue. If, it, if you do get that stuck mode, just can leave it running. Um, so those are the main changes with this build. Not a huge amount. As I said, it's getting to the polish to the end of this build. I do like this now, especially with uh, the timeline features. I really got used to, to working with that. You can find more on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com. You can follow me on Twitter at isdixon. And thanks for watching this video.